imagine you're watching a, a gymnastics uh, performance, right? And, and it's like at a high level, world-class performance, and someone comes out there and they do this routine that's just dead letter perfect, you know? And they stop and everybody claps like mad, right? And it's perfect. And so then the next contestant comes out and they're basically in real trouble because, you know, this person just got 9.7 out of 10 and it was perfect. So how do you beat perfect? And so they come out there and then you watch them and you're right on the edge of your seat because what you see them do is something extraordinarily disciplined just like the last person did, but they push themselves into that zone that's just beyond their disciplined capacity, and you can tell every second you're watching it that they're that close to disaster. And so you're right on the edge of your seat, and, and you know that they're doing a high wire act without a net. And so when they finally land triumphantly, you'll all stand up and clap spontaneously. And it's because you've just witnessed someone who's a master at playing a game, who's also a master at improving how to play that game at the same time. And people love that more than anything, to see that. It's just absolutely overwhelming, because it's a testament to the human spirit. And you'll respond automatically and unconsciously to that. And that's why, that's an analogy to why the animals all spontaneously bow. When, now what happens is, they sh he shows the Lion King, and the sun breaks and shines on the, the hero at the same time. So there's this concordance between an earthly event and a so-called heavenly event, and Jung would call that synchronous. That's his idea of synchronicity, where something important subjectively is also signified by something that appears in narrative keeping with that in the outside world. It's one of the most controversial elements of his theory, but I've experienced a variety of synchronous events, and they often happen in therapy especially around dreams, but they're very hard to communicate because they're so specific to the context in which it occurs, they're very difficult to explain. So anyways, uh, it's the synchronous event that make, drops all the animals to their knees. So there's the sun coming out and there's shining on them and all the primates go mad for that and that's of course exactly what we do when we applaud 